wanted to check out this clip of Ben Shapiro coming out against Medicare and Social Security, kicking in for somebody in their 60s and saying that people should not be retiring at 65 years old. 65. Listen to this. And let's be real about this. It's insane that we haven't raised the retirement age in the United States. It's totally crazy. Joe Biden, if that were the case, Joe Biden should not be running for president. Biden is 81 years old. The retirement age in the United States at which you start to receive Social Security and you are eligible for Medicare is 65. Joe Biden has technically been eligible for Social Security and Medicare for 16 years, and he wants to continue in office until he is 86, which is 19 years past when he would be eligible for retirement. Okay, so you can be you can retire at 65. That doesn't mean you have to retire at 65. Somebody can work into the 70s if they want to. Somebody can work into the 80s if they want to. But in my image of retirement, we don't know how long somebody is going to live, if they're going to w- live into the 70s and my 80s. My grandfather is uh, in his 70s now. He is 70 years old. And I don't know how many more years he's got. Who knows? No one really knows at the end of the day. But, if, if I mean, I couldn't imagine him in his current condition working until like a few weeks ago as his health has deteriorated as he's gotten older as he's gotten slower because he worked as a machinist so this type of industry the type of work my grandfather was doing is not the type of work that anybody could do from the comfort of their office it's not just paperwork it's not just this or that he had to go in there and fix the machines that printed money for the entire country it was a machinist at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. That type of labor could be constraining. Of course, there's work, of course, work in the CNC machine ain't the hardest thing around, but there's other parts of it that could be physically straining. And so depending on the labor, yeah, I think 65 could be a, partic- a perfectly fine retirement age. Depending on the condition of your body and how the work has impacted you. Like I think somebody who works on an oil rig is going to have a different physical condition than somebody who worked in as an accountant for the same period of time. Joe Biden did not work on an oil rig. Joe Biden did not work in the coal mines. Joe Biden did not work in the steel mills. Joe Biden did not work as the cabooseman. Well, maybe in his youth. Maybe it was an elevator operator in his youth. Who knows? But my point is that 65, I think, as a baseline is not that bad. Because we're talking about a baseline that can apply generally to most people. And so if we're trying to do that, we should set it at a place where people start to slow down. Now, that doesn't mean everybody has to retire at 65. People could continue to work into the 70s. People could walk into the 80s if they wanted to. But if we push it back to 70, there is going to be situations where people are working their whole life to get the retirement and they just drop dead because, oh, it was 69. This is when they died. And then they get, didn't get four years retired with their lovely wife or husband. They got nothing. And that's something that makes me very uncomfortable. The idea of my grandfather working the last five years, thinking about his condition, thinking about how he's slowed down. I couldn't do that type of work anymore. I don't like it. Everybody's body is different. But I think 65 is a good cutoff point. Danny Blue Jeans, thank you for the tier one being up for three months. And I will tell you that I don't think the majority of Americans would be excited to hear their retirement age is being bumped up to 70 or 75. No one in the United States should be retiring at 65 years old. Frankly, I think retirement itself is a stupid idea unless you have some sort of health problem. (laughs) You mean like getting old? You mean like getting really old? Look, again, it depends on the work. I, for me, this feels like it, this just comes from the type of work Ben Shapiro has done his whole life. Ben Shapiro has done office work his whole life. And even depending on that, that can be more true. But he was doing office work his whole life. Writing or doing stuff like this. He was not doing, he was not in the coal mines. He was not in the steel mills. Like, how, what, what, what would be the plan for the steel worker age 77, 78? I mean, at 67, 78. I mean, 67, 68, 69. What's the plan there? We just keep him working at the still mill as his body starts to creak. And I do want to throw out there that a lot of people, when they talk about retirement, they get to do the things that they've been waiting their whole life to do because they have the time to, because they were tied down for five years around a job, 365 days a year. 
And now with retirement, they can go see the great lights. They can go enjoy their final years on the earth. Again, I don't really know if I want to retire when I get old. I guess I'll know when I get there. Now, I have a lot of work I want to get done, and I can't imagine retiring now. But that's now. Just as like Ben Shapiro is saying that now, before he's in his 70s or in his 80s. Now, retirement can be stupid for him, and so he doesn't have to retire. He can work into his 90s if he wants to. He can work to the bone and then die. But the idea of stopping retirement being done at age 65 because he thinks retirement is stupid anyway and no one should retire, I don't think he's the right person to determine what the retirement age should be. And on, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Croft Wall. What a name. Thank you. Everybody that I know who is, who is elderly, who has retired, is dead within five years. I mean, if you talk to people who are... I don't think that's necessarily an indicator that retirement kills them. That could be an indicator that they retired because they were at the end of their rope. Usually when someone retires, that means they're quite old. So say, man, when people retire at the age of 65, they die within five years. I guess that means we should move the retirement age up to 70. Now, I mean, maybe you could make the argument that the work itself was keeping them alive, um, which they could work on other things. They could work on other things if that is the case. But it could also just be you work them another five years, then they die and they get to retire at all. Who are elderly and they lose their purpose in life by losing their job and they stop working. Things go to hell in a handbasket real quick. But put all of that aside, just on a fiscal level and on a logical level. When Franklin Delano Roosevelt established 65 as the retirement age, the average life expectancy in the United States was 63 years old. Today, the average life expectancy in the United States is close to 80. It's totally insane that you believe that you should be able to work from the time that you are essentially 20 to the time that you are 65, which is a 45 year period, pay in, and then you'll receive social security benefits sufficient to support you and your family, you and your wife or whatever, for like another 20 years. That's crazy talk. That is not fiscally sustainable. Again, it would be 20 years for some people and it would not be 20 years for other people. But also, we're saying it's physically unsustainable when we haven't used all of the avenues that we could use to funnel it, uh, funnel funds into the into the into Social Security. For example, if we remove the cap, so we also you know tax those the wealthiest among us at a higher rate to have them pay into it, pay into supporting the elderly amongst us, pay into supporting the workforce that they rely upon in order to get the profits that they have now gouged themselves on. I'm not saying that to mean thing. Okay, they make some profit. They have a right to you know benefit from that profit. But I think that making sure that they pay their fair share into it so that everybody has a decent retirement when the time comes, I think that's an option we have on the table. But Ben Shapiro would not be very happy with that, I don't think. So I don't think he'd like my option. The notion that if you have to raise the retirement age to 67 or 68, that everyone is going to fall apart. My parents are that age. My parents are not retired. And they shouldn't retire. It would be very bad for them to retire. By the way, it's disrespectful to people who are 67, 68, 69 years old to suggest that they are in the same shape as people who are 65 were in 1940. It's not true at all. Have you met a 65-year-old lately? 65-year-olds are not old in the United States. <laughs> See, I, I, what world is he living in? What world is he living in? What type of labor does he, who does he hanging out with? Like, again, it depends on the job. It depends on the work. It depends on the labor. It depends on the person. It depends on their body. It depends on so many different factors. It depends on their own personal interests as well, what they want to do with their final years. They're not. 68-year-olds are not old in the United States. 68-year-olds are old. What is old? Do you have to be 70 or up to be old? Again, Joe Biden thinks he's not old, and that dude is running for president. No, Joe Biden says I am old. He acknowledges that he's old. He, he, his first wave of campaign ads is, I am old. I know I'm old. I can still do the job. And again, and that dude actually is old, and he's 81. I, I fail to see how a country in which our entire leadership class is 80 plus is telling you that we should have a retirement age of 65. It makes no sense at all. I'm just throwing out there that most Americans think that both Donald Trump and Joe Biden is too old for the job. Donald Trump being 77. And if that's too old for the job, and it's only 10 years older than 65, how can we say that 65 in and of itself isn't old?
can we can we look at like how about list of american politicians let's let's look at the politicians just category a list do we have a list of the ones that are the current members of congress this would mean senator ron johnson and lindsey graham would not be considered old under the scenario with them both being 67 guys do you think lindsey graham is old do you guys think this guy is yo a young buck would you guys call this guy old or not old using the Ben Shapiro logic? This guy's a young, this guy's young, huh? You know, him and me, I think we could, you know, we could do a little, you know, a little run around, around the community a few times, some jumping jack. You know, I bet me and Lindsay could do a few rounds of sparring. You know, I love boxing, I haven't sparred in a long time. I bet he could do a few rounds of sparring if he's a young buck. I had no clue. I think 65 is a fine retirement age, but if the Republican Party wants to adopt openly the position that the retirement age should be raised, that it should be 70 years old, 69 years old, whatever it is, then they should take that position openly. Because Joe Biden, just like during the last State of the Union, confronted Republicans over the idea of raising retirement age, cutting funding to Social Security, and they all reacted very offended. And if they're reacting very offended, that means that their House members can't have any sympathies with cutting Social Security or raising that age. If you're going to take offense to the idea of being accused of wanting to do that. And by the way, anything above 60 is old. I mean, when you get into 50s, you're already like, but 60, in my opinion, that's old. 60 up is old.